Hi, today I'm going to be upgrading my processor cooler from the bog standard Intel stock one, Socky 775, to this uh, Arctic 7 Pro Revision 2. Now I bought this quite cheap off Amazon. I paid um, £15 for it. And looking at the reviews on the internet, it's supposed to be quite a good cooler for the money, so I thought I'd give it a shot and put one in because I want to do a bit of overclocking. And on the stock cooler, I'm not getting very good overclocks, which is to be expected. So let's just open this up. There she is. Right, so I'll just take it out of the box and uh, give you some measurements on it if you're thinking of buying one of these. Right, okay. I'm going to set it down. Let's get some measurements on it. Right, I'll do this in centimetres rather than inches. <laughs> and from the bottom to the top, you're talking 12 and a half centimetres there. With the fan in width or depth, about 10 centimetres. And this way, ten and a half, ten and a half centimetres. It's not a massive cooler, but I should imagine it'd be a great improvement over the one I'm using at the moment. Which, although it's not really designed to be overclocked, the, the um, stock Intel one, I've managed to get the QX9650 Extreme processor up to 3.7 gigahertz. So it's not too shabby. But I'm hoping that I'll get this up to 4 gigahertz with this one in, because there is quite sufficient cooling in the case, in the Lanley PC7FM case which I'll come on to in a minute, that, it's, uh, well, basically it's got fans everywhere, all low speed and slow running ones, but there is a lot, a lot of fans in it, so. We'll see how we get on with it. And at the bottom here, he's got um, thermal paste, or thermal grease, that I'll be using. I won't be using anything exotic. And we've got the uh, three heat pipe design there, which is basically, some people are saying it's six, which isn't, no, it's three, but they're in a U shape. So it looks like six at the top. They go all the way around, straight up through the sides. Okay, let's put that back on so we don't contaminate the paste. It is a four pin connection, um, PWM. So the motherboard controls the fan speed automatically, if you wanted to. We can switch it off and have it running at full speed. Now some people are saying, looking at other reviews on this, that the, the front fan clips off somehow. So let's have a look. Ah, yeah, there we go, that was easy. Apparently fitting it on an Intel socket, you have to take the fan off first, so you can get to these screws at the bottom for the mounting bracket, which is here. And this mounting bracket sits underneath there and that screws straight down to it. But before you can mount it, like I say, you've got to take the fan off. So, um, let's put that back on a second. That goes back on easily enough. The fan's mounted on rubber grommets as well, which is fantastic for noise reduction. So you could have this uh, spinning really fast and not much noise. Let's have a look at some of the specs on the box. Well, it says on the box, 150 watts cooling capacity. <laughs> the processor itself is 150 watts, so. <coughs> um, it fits 1136, 1366, 1156, 1155, and Socket 775 on the Intel platform. And on the AMD platform, it fits FM1, AM3+, AM3, AM2+, AM2. Socket 939 and 754, so it's pretty universal. Let's just 
just the instructions that nobody ever reads, but be there if you get stuck on anything. Nobody ever reads these things, I don't think. <laughs> right. So I'll get cracking and get this installed. And I just remembered I aren't actually using the stock Intel cooler at the moment. I'm using the Cooler Master Vortex Plus, which is basically a little bit better than the uh, stock cooler. It is a low profile cooler. And as I had this motherboard in my low profile case before, I thought, well, I'll put a decent cooler in now and see if we can get a bit of an overclock out of the machine. But uh, yeah, I shall put this in and then see how we get on with it. It's not heavy, it's uh, quite light actually. And I like the fan design. The fan design's pretty neat. As I say, that's mounted on rubber grommets that moves around with. So, noise vibration shouldn't be a problem there. I'll get this fitted and I'll get back to you with some pictures and a little short video of, me, of the computer itself with it fitted in there and um, we'll see how we go on with the performance because at the moment on this Cooler Master Vortex Plus I can take the processor up to 3762 MHz it says on the LCD screen at the front 3.7 from 3 GHz which isn't really too bad considering it's not meant to be overclocked on that heatsink so I'm hoping this will take it up to 4, 4 GHz that's my sweet spot where I want to go So I'll get this uh, little baby installed and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.